D-Bridge is a solution comprising an Ethernet to Dolly Bridge device and easy to operate user interface application. This solution enables intuitive control of luminaires within a Dolly installation via an Ethernet network using a computer, tablet, or smartphone. The software runs on Windows, Android, and iOS. Opening the box. The package contains a D-Bridge device RJ45 patch cable for Ethernet connection and a connection diagram. The D-Bridge device comes housed in a standard 2U sized DIN box, which allows for installation in electrical switchboards. On one side of the device, you will see terminals for the Dolly bus and power supply. On the other side, there is an RJ45 Ethernet plug and reset push button. The description of the terminal is located on the front panel of the device together with several status indicators. The uppermost indicator showing the power status, the middle one showing the status of the Dolly line, and the last one showing the device status. The D-Bridge device is powered by an external 12-volt DC power source unit which is not standardly supplied with the device, but available on request. Preparation. Prior to use of D-Bridge, you must pre-configure your Dolly installation. In practice, this means to go through the process of commissioning in order to assign addresses to all of the luminaries. All parameters, such as group addresses, scenes, or fading times must be set as needed. This pre-setting is necessary for correct functionality of D-Bridge. Once the Dolly installation is set up, you can connect the D-Bridge device to the installation using the Dolly terminals. Next, connect the power supply to the D-Bridge device. You can use any 12-volt DC 3-watt power supply. Pay special attention to the polarity of the power supply, which should be connected as shown on the front panel. After applying the power, the power indicator should light up as well as the Dolly indicator if the Dolly bus is correctly supplied. Ethernet connection. D-Bridge has a default network configuration as described in the user manual. If you don't want to change the network settings, you can skip this step. The network configuration can be maintained using any device with an Ethernet connector. However, a computer is usually the most practical device for this purpose. Now you can plug the RJ45 cable into the D-Bridge device and the other side of the cable directly into your computer or Ethernet switch. Firstly, you must change the IP address of your computer in order to be on the same subnet as the D-Bridge device. To change your IP address, do the following. Click on the Start button and open the Control Panel. Choose the Network and Internet category and then select Open Network and Sharing Center. If connection of the D-Bridge device is successful, you will see the Local Connection icon. Click on Local Connection and then Properties. Afterwards, select Internet Protocol version 4 TCP and IPv4 and click again on the Properties button. Save your current IP settings. For example, by using the print screen function. Select Use the following IP address radio button and fill in the following numbers. IP address 192.168.1.100 Subnet mask 255.255.255.0 Default Gateway 192.168.1.252 Press OK and then Cancel and close all open dialogs. Open your web browser and type 192.168.1.252 into the address line. You will see a dialog for the authentication. Type admin in both the username and password fields. Now you can see the screen of the integrated web server. The left part of the screen is intended for IP address configuration of the D-Bridge device. You can set up the IP address, subnet mask, gateway, web port, and Dolly port, the port used for communication when sending commands to the Dolly bus. It is recommended to keep the port number unchanged. On the right side of the screen, you can change the password used for web server access. After finishing configuration, you can press Save and Restart, and the D-Bridge device will reboot with the new settings. If you have changed the IP address settings, you have to change your computer IP address settings in order to connect to the D-Bridge device again. To restore default network settings, use the reset push button. A short press of the reset button will restart the device, and a longer press and hold of the button for 10 or more seconds will restore the default configuration of the D-Bridge device. For wireless connection, simply connect the D-Bridge device to the Wi-Fi router configured as your access point. Configuration of the Wi-Fi router depends on its type. Running the application on a computer. Windows. 
Firstly, you must download the software from http alumatech.eu slash downloads. After unzipping the package, open the file start underscore me dot html to open the software installation wizard. To install the software, click on software. Follow the instructions in the dialog to complete the installation. After successful installation, you will find the dbridge icon on your desktop. You should also connect to the Wi-Fi router that is connected with dbridge. Open the application by double-clicking on its icon. You will see the default screen of the software with single control functionality for broadcast control. You can check whether dbridge is connected by looking at the status bar. There is written either connected or disconnected. In the upper left corner of the window, there is a refresh button for instant updating of the status bar. If you have changed the default IP address settings of the dbridge device, as described in Part 3, you will see disconnected when running the computer software for the first time. Click on the connection and password settings icon and the software will ask for a password to access the settings. The default password is admin. Now you will see a dialog for the connection and password settings. Enter the correct IP address of your dbridge into the first field and the port number for communication with the dbridge device into the second one. Both the IP address and port number must be the same as you used for the web server settings. Once this is done, confirm the settings and the dialog window will close and you should see connected written in the status bar. Next, you can import controls from file or create new ones using the control wizard. Adding new controls on a computer, Windows. When everything is ready, you can start adding new controls for your Dolly network. Click on the icon Control Management and type in the correct password. If you haven't made any changes, admin is the default password. Now select an action. To create a new control, select Add Control and press Next. You will be asked to choose a label to describe the control and what type of control you want to add. We will begin with Command and Level Control. On the next screen, you will be asked what kind of luminaire you want to control. You can select Dolly Protocol and the most used is Dolly Type 6. To find more information about Dolly Type 8 support, please check our website. Next, select the type of luminaire according to the number of output channels it has. Basic luminaire, single color, RGB luminaire, three channels, or tunable white luminaire, two channels. For tunable white luminaires, you have two possibilities of control, either the cold white and warm white method or the brightness and CCT method. Now we will choose a basic luminaire. As we want to control a single color LED strip, the next screen regards the control settings. You can choose on and off control, single level control. This means that the control will just set one defined brightness value. Scene control. This means that the control will recall a predefined scene or slider control, which is the most useful as it enables full dimming of luminaire. So we will select slider control. Next, we must set the destination. This control can be connected to a single luminaire a Dolly Group address or group of addresses that are defined by the user in the software. We will select the first option, Single Device. Now the dbridge device starts scanning the Dolly network in order to find all the devices connected to the network. To select the luminaire, check the checkbox for the address of the luminaire. You can press the button Identify Selected to verify whether this address is assigned to the desired luminaire. Then stop the identification and press the Add Device button and finally click on Finish. Now you have created your first control, which is the slider that manages the dimming of a single luminaire. Now we will edit the settings of the control we have just created. Click again on the icon Control Management and choose the option Sort and Edit Controls. You will see all the controls and can change their order by pressing the buttons Move Up and Move Down. To change the label of the control, click on the Rename button. And finally, you can manually edit all of the settings by clicking on the Edit button. Configuration Files dbridge offers the possibility to save the configuration of a control either into the device or into the file. If you want to save the current settings of a control, click on the icon Connection and Password Settings and then save the configuration into the dbridge device by clicking the Upload Config button. The device password is required, which is the same as before, Admin. Now the configuration is successfully saved in the dbridge device and other devices can download it directly from there. Another possibility is to export the configuration into a file by clicking the Export Settings button. 
After clicking on it, you will see a standard dialog for saving files. A configuration file has the star.omss format. You can also upload different configurations using the Import Settings button. Download Config serves for loading the configuration from the dbridge device, and the button Backup Config serves for saving the configuration from dbridge directly to file. Now I will show you how to import pre-prepared configuration file using the apps on Android or iOS. Firstly, you have to download the appropriate app from Google Play Store or App Store, depending on the type of smart device you use. Once the application is installed, you can connect to the Wi-Fi network that is connected to the dbridge device. Set up the correct IP address of your dbridge device. Click on the Configuration and Password Settings icon and type the password. In the dialog, you can change the IP address or keep the default one. Confirm the changes by clicking on Save. Please be patient while the configuration is being set. How long this takes will depend on the smart device you're using. You can also use configuration files copied to your smartphone. Now we have here the configuration previously uploaded from the computer software and can wirelessly control the DALI installation.